ஹாய் வியூவர்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் ஸோ இந்த வீடியோவில் இன்றைக்கி நம்ம தமிழ்நாடு கோஆப்ரேட்டிவ் பேங்க் ரெக்ரூட்மெண்ட்ஸ்க்கான சிலபஸில் ஒரு சப்ஜெக்டான கம்ப்யூட்டர் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் சப்ஜெக்டோட எம்சிக்யூ கொஷின்ஸை தான் பார்க்க போகிறோம் அண்ட் நீங்கள் வந்து நம்ம சேனலில் இப்போ தான் ஃபஸ்ட் டைமாக பார்க்குறீங்கன்னா மறக்காமல் ஃபஸ்ட்டு சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க அண்ட் பெல் பட்டனையும் கிளிக் பண்ணுங்கள் பிகாஸ் இந்த சேனலோட வீடியோஸ் எல்லாம் நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இதில் ஏகப்பட்ட கொஷின்ஸை வந்து ஃப்ரீ ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸஸாக அப்லோட் பண்ணப்பட்டிருக்கு இன்னமும் பார்க்காதவங்க எல்லா வீடியோஸையும் மிஸ் பண்ணாமல் பாருங்கள் இந்த ஃப்ரீ ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸஸ் வந்து உங்களுக்கு ரொம்பவே யூஸ்ஃபுல்லாக இருக்கும்னு நம்புகிறோம் அண்ட் தமிழ்நாடு கோஆப்ரேட்டிவ் பேங்க்கோட ஜாப் நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன்ஸை வந்து இந்த சேனலில் அப்லோட் பண்ணுவோம் ஸோ மிஸ் பண்ணிடாதீங்க அண்ட் இன்றைக்கி வீடியோவை நீங்கள் கம்ப்ளீட்டாக கவனிச்சிங்கன்னா இதில் கட்டாயம் ஒரு டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் கொஷின்ஸை வந்து அப்ராக்ஸாக நீங்கள் அட்டன் பண்ண முடியும் ஸோ எந்த காரணத்துக்கும் வீடியோவை எங்கேயும் ஸ்கிப் பண்ணாமல் கம்ப்ளீட்டாக பாருங்கள் ஸோ லாஸ்ட் வீடியோவில் வந்து நம்ம தியரட்டிக்கல் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆப்ரேட்டிங் சிஸ்டம் பேஸ்ட் எம்சிக்யூ கொஷின்ஸை வந்து கம்ப்ளீட்டாக பார்த்துருக்கோம் ஸோ இந்த வீடியோவில் நம்ம கம்ப்யூட்டர் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் சப்ஜெக்டோட எம்சிக்யூ கொஷின்ஸை வந்து பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஸோ வாங்க லேட் பண்ணாமல் கொஷின்ஸை பார்க்க ஆரம்பிக்கலாம் கொஷின் ஒன் Which of the following is said to be the brain of a computer? It's option D. Microprocessor. Question 2. Which of the following is not the part of a microprocessor unit? It's option C. Cache memory. Question 3. How many bits constitute a word? It's option D. Determined by the processor used. It depends on which pro processor you are using. Question 4. Which of the following device identifies the location when address is placed in the memory address register? So, we place the memory address register in the memory address the device we identify the location we identify the location. So, it's option C. Decoder. Question 5. Which of the following is a CISC processor? So, in the options, la, CISC processor A then kek ranga. So, CISC is nothing but complex instruction set computer. So, answer pating na, option C, Pentium 3. Question 6. Which is the fastest memory? So, it is the fastest memory and kek ranga. So, it is option C, cache memory. Question 7. How many memory locations are identified by a professor with 8 bits address bus at a time? It's option C, 256 memory locations. Question 8. What is the capacity of 12 cm diameter DVD with single binded and single layer? It's option A, 4.7 GB capacity. Next question 9. What is the smallest size of data represented in a CD? It's option C. Bits. Question 10. Display devices are connected to the computer through dash. It's option D. VGA connector. VGA is nothing but video graphics array connectors. So, at the part, in the part 2 is still a set of questions. So, that's what we'll see. Question 1. Computer organization deals with the dash of a computer. It's option B. Hardware of a computer. Question 2. Computer organization includes dash. It's option D. All the above. So, computer organization includes input and output devices, central processing unit, storage devices and primary memory. Question 3. Dash deals with the engineering considerations involved in designing a computer. It's option B. Computer architecture. CA. Question 4. Dash deals with the hardware components that are transparent to the programmer. It's option A. Computer organization. 
क्वेश्चन फाइव द डैश इज द मेजर कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर इट्स ऑप्शन बी सी पी यू सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट क्वेश्चन सिक्स इन अ कंप्यूटर डैश परफॉर्म्स ऑल टास्क इट्स ऑप्शन बी अगेन सी पी यू क्वेश्चन सेवन द माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स वेर फर्स्ट इंट्रड्यूस्ड इन अर्ली डैश सो ये पाव अंदर इन द माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स यू इंट्रोड्यूस पनागन के करांगा इट्स ऑप्शन सी 1970 क्वेश्चन एट द फर्स्ट जनरल पर्पस माइक्रो प्रोसेसर 4004 वाज डेवलप्ड बाय डैश इट्स ऑप्शन ए इंटेल इनकॉर्पोरेटेड क्वेश्चन नाइन द डैश इज अ प्रोग्रामेबल मल्टीपर्पस सिलिकॉन चिप so answer is option c microprocessor so the microprocessor is the programmable multi purpose silicon chip question 10 dash is driven by clock pulses so again option c microprocessor question 11 the microprocessor is made up of dash main units so it's option d three main units Question twelve. Dash is the main unit of a pro- microprocessor. It's option D. All the above. So under three units, then pakla. It's ALU, arithmetic and logic units, registers and control unit. So next question. Question thirteen. Dash performs arithmetic and logical instructions based on computer in- instructions. It's option A. ALU. Question fourteen. Dash control the overall operations of computer through signals. It's option C, control unit. Question fifteen. Dash is used to hold the instruction and data from the execution of a processor. It's option B, registers. Question sixteen. The dash is able to communicate with the memory units and the input output devices <coughs> so idle edu vand memory units and input output devices kuda communicate panna mudiyo nu kekranga its option c microprocessor question 17 the system dash is a bunch of wires that serves as communication channels between the microprocessor and the other units its option a bus Question eighteen, dash is a type of bus. It's option D, all the above. So address bus, data bus, and control bus, all are the types of buses. Question nineteen, microprocessor's performance depends on the dash characteristic. It's option D, all the above. So its performance depends on clock speed, instruction set, and word size. Question twenty, Hertz abbreviated as dash. It's option A, Hz. Question twenty one, Dash is the standard unit of measurement used for measuring frequency. It's option A, Hertz. Question twenty two, Hertz is commonly used to measure dash wave frequency so option d all the above so this hertz is commonly used to measure sound wave frequency light wave frequency and even radio wave frequency question 23 the average human ear can detect dash hertz sound waves it's option a between 20 and 20000 Hertz sound waves. Question twenty four. Sound waves close to twenty hertz have a low pitch and are called dash frequencies. It's option B, bass frequencies. Question twenty five. Sound waves above five thousand hertz have a high pitch and are called dash frequency. It's option A, 
treble frequencies. Question 26. Dash is also used to measure the speed of computer processor. It's option D. Hertz again. Question 27. Each CPU is rated at a specific dash speed. So answer is option A. Clock speed. Question 28. Dash indicates how many instruction cycles the processor can perform in every second. It's option A. Clock speed. So this will also be the definition for uh, clock speed. Question 29. The modern processors can perform dash instructions per second. Is option C either A or B. So either millions or billions of instructions per second. Question 30. The clock speeds are typically measured in dash. It's option C, megahertz or gigahertz. Question 31. Every microprocessor has a dash that regulates the speed at which it executes instructions. It's option A, internal clock. Question 32. The speed at which the microprocessor executes instructions is called the dash. So option B, clock speed. Question 33. A command which is given to a computer to perform an operation on data is called as dash. So answer is option C, instruction. Basic set of machine level instructions that a microprocessor is designed to execute is called as a dash. So option D, instruction set. Question 35. The instruction set carries out the dash operations. It's option D, all the above. So it might carry out data transfer and arithmetic operations, logical operations and control flow, and input output operations. Question 36. The number of bits that can be processed by a processor in a single instruction is called its dash. Answer is option A, word size. Question 37. Dash determines the amount of RAM that can be accessed by a microprocessor. It's option A, word size again. Question 38. Total number of dash pins determines the architecture of a microprocessor. It's option C, input and output pins. Question 39. The first commercial microprocessor is Dash. It's option C. Intel 4004. Question 40. The microprocessor Intel 4004 is a Dash bit processor. It's option D. 4 bit processor. Question 41. In a microprocessor, number of output pins is always equal to the number of dash pins. It's option A, input pins. Question 42. A microprocessor which consists of 4 input pins and 4 output pins can process dash bit at a time. It's option D, 4 bits at a time. Question 43. A microprocessor which consists of 4 input pins and 4 output pins 
are called dash bit microprocessor. It's option D, 4 bit microprocessor. Question 44. Intel 8085 is a dash bit processor. It's option C, 8 bit processor. Question 45. Intel 8086 is a dash bit processor. Answer is option A, 32 bit processor. Question 46. Currently most of the microprocessor use dash bit architecture. Answer is option C, 32 bit or 64 bit architecture. Question 47. The CPU has a dash. So option C, MDR and MAR. So it's memory data register and memory address register. Question 48. Here comes MDR stands for dash. So MDR or a full form menan ke kranga. It's option A. Memory data register. Question 49. MAR stands for dash. So full form of MAR is option D. Memory address register. Question 50. The dash keeps the data which is transferred between the memory and the CPU. So, it is the memory and the CPU transfer on the data. It is option A, memory data register. Next question, question 51. Dash is a special register. In the CPU, which always keeps the address of the next instruction to be executed. It's option B, program counter. So, in the program counters, when the adth execute aga pora instructions or address avandha vechar ko. Hence, it is a uh, special register in the CPU. Next question, question 52. The dash places the address of a memory to be fetched into the memory address register. So option B, arithmetic and logic unit. Question 53. A dash is a collection of wires used for communication between the internal components of a computer. It's option D, bus. Question 54. The dash bus is used to point a memory location. So answer is option B, address bus. Question 55. A digital circuit is used to point to the specific memory location where the word can be located is called as a decoder. So, in the video, we will complete the 65 questions. So, in the video, we will remaining questions. Release. So, wait for the video. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. And in the video, we will miss it. And in the video, we will be useful to you. And in the video, we will be able to doubts in the channel. We will be able to clear your doubts.